How's everybody doing? I just got a question like six seconds ago if I was famous, and I would like to say I am. Um, but, uh, my story I'll tell you is, uh, it was, it was um, can I take this off? Alright, um, I was diagnosed um, June 13th, 2008. Uh, if you guys don't remember that date, I do. It was on Friday the 13th. Um, I was 15 years old and um, I received the worst news of my life. That I was diagnosed with leukemia and uh, I, thought my, I thought my world was going to end. I thought it was it from there. But um, with the help of uh, the hospital and whatnot, I beat it. But I'll tell you a little bit about, about my story first. Um, I was 15 when I was diagnosed. I had my 16th birthday in the hospital. I was in the hospital prior and I was first diagnosed for uh, 30 to 35 days straight. Um, I started my first treatment plan in the hospital three days after diagnosis. Um, right away they started the treatment. Um, and I was put in remission like, so I would say like a month after, a month and a half after. Uh, and I thought it was over from there. I was like, all right, sweet. No more, no more treatment, I'm done. Um, Cancer was cool, they hung out, uh, but that wasn't the case. I was in treatment for um, two years, uh, over 100 straight weeks of chemotherapy, and um, uh, with that result, uh, I lost my hair, I was very sick, I was, uh, I was put in the hospital in February 2009, I was put in a sedated coma for um, six days. Uh, I, missed this, I, missed, I missed the Super Bowl with the Steelers and the Cardinals, um, didn't really mean anything because it's not like New England was under any, anything like that. Um, they, I, I lost it. Uh, they lost. I woke up the next day, not the next day, the next week, and I said, I can't wait to go to my friend's house and go to the Super Bowl. And my, my dad starts laughing at me and says, uh, the Super Bowl already happened, but All right, thanks, Bob. Appreciate that. Uh, um, but uh, that's what happened with me. And um, through the years, while I was in treatment, I um, I wrote I wrote wrote pen to paper, um, and what I wrote was the year of the beginning. Um, the year of the beginning was my play that I put that my my school put into the um, Rhode Island uh, Theater Conference last year, and um, what it was is pretty much my story. Uh, when I was when I was in high school, um, I missed over 100 days sophomore year. I missed over uh, like 90 days junior year. And um, I still passed because I still had that drive in my head that uh, even though cancer got me, that uh, cancer, that I have cancer, came with cancer wasn't going to have me. Um, Jesse again, please report to the main office. Jesse again, please report to the main office. Is Jesse here? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so that, that was my, that was my uh, experience with it. I, I wrote down pen to paper, um, I wrote a play, I wrote, um, it was a one act, full one act play about my story, about what I went through, what I went through with my life, and um, how, how it definitely made me the person I am today. Um, I, had, I had cancer, and I'm off treatment now, um, and I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, it sounds weird, but I would never change the fact that I had cancer. Um, it was a really crummy situation, uh, it, I had it in high school. No offense to high school kids. Uh, high school kids just don't really know how to react to it. Um, I remember I came into school, I was bald, and, and one kid was like, one kid said to me, I got a haircut, and, and one kid was like, oh, why didn't you shave it all off? He was like, oh, I didn't want to look like a cancer patient. And um, he said that right in front of me, and, and, and right then and there, I looked at him like, all right, well, I was now, I was now a statistic, and, um, and I had to overcome that, and I did. And, I, and from the kid, that, the comment that kid made, I've got, I've got a million comments that I was, I'm, I'm a lucky person that I got cancer, and I'm this, that, and the other thing. And, and maybe, maybe some of it is true, but the majority of it is not. Um, I had a fight for my life. Uh, a lot of people just kind of wake up every day and, and, and continue their life, but I had a fight. And uh, with your help and with your doing, um, you're, you're making the fight much easier. And uh, I would like to say thank you very much. Um.
Yeah, I'll read it. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have the email to one of you guys here. And uh, you're all welcome to read it. Any other questions? Thank you for listening.